Have you ever noticed that some YouTubers are able to consistently create viral or semi-viral gaming videos? It's not pure chance. There's a strategy behind creating viral videos. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I've managed to create multiple viral and semi-viral gaming videos just using this simple tactic. G'day, my name's Marcus. I'm a video game and YouTube enthusiast. I'm also YouTube certified and this channel is dedicated to helping you grow your gaming YouTube channel. I upload a new video every Saturday, so feel free to subscribe. And sorry for flexing all that stuff on you. Don't mean to, but you know, I need you to understand that I am someone who you can actually listen to, unlike there's a lot of people on the internet who talk a lot of crap about this kind of stuff. But today I'm going to be teaching you exactly how to create viral or like I like to call them semi-viral videos using a very simple tactic that pretty much anyone can use and it's very concrete I'm gonna walk you through step by step but before we get into the concrete template I want to show you um, the foundations of this tactic because basically if you don't know the foundations if you don't know the roots if you don't understand where this is coming from first of all you can't evolve this tactic because obviously if you're really creative and a lot of youtubers are so I'm sure you are you can make variations of this and tweaks and improve it and come up with your own strategy that will suit your personal gaming channel and might get you slightly better results. The second reason is that if you don't understand how a successful channel works, because a viral video is only part of it, I mean you could be a the viral dog surfing in Hawaii and then your channel has 200 subscribers because people they have no reason to subscribe because you don't understand the foundations, you don't understand how to actually have a channel that people want to subscribe for. So I don't want you to go use this tactic, get a semi-viral video and put in heaps of work, but then you know your channel doesn't really get any subscribers because you don't know about these other elements. So we'll just cover all these other elements quickly and then we can get into the actual tactic itself. So bear with me. And something works really, really well, I like to study that success, whether that's like a video, a channel, or even a person or a business, I like to study that success and try and figure out what it is that made that successful. Because if we can figure out what made that successful, then we can implement those same tactics and strategies with our, in our lives, in our videos, in our channels, in our businesses, whatever it is, and we can have a part of that success. Maybe we won't be as successful as that person because we don't know absolutely everything. Nevertheless, as Tony Robbins says, you need to model the pros, take massive action, and you'll get results. So, why all this is in context is because I have been studying successful channels, obviously that's kind of what I do and I really enjoy doing that. So I've been studying, studying these successful channels and I've figured out that you can pretty much fit their content into four different categories, pretty much every single successful channel out there. Now without all these types of videos, the chances of you being able to have a very successful channel that is sustainable, um, the chances are very, very slim. And so I'm going to jump over to the whiteboard and I'm just going to draw this out for you just to make so it makes a little bit of sense. And I call this the pillar of success because I don't know, it's a good name, I guess. So the pillar of success looks like this. Now your amazing successful channel is up here. I mean, that's that's not good enough. We need to make this gold. There we go, gold successful channel. It's a gold star, you just can't see it all. Um, and then the pillar is divided up into these four categories I mentioned. So the first category are uh, video, uh, discoverable videos. So discoverable videos are basically the viral videos. And this is where people actually find your channel. So this is where you're probably having the most trouble at the moment because you are probably got a smaller channel and you think you have great content, but you, you know, no one's actually seeing it. Say no one's subscribing or you're not getting any views or any of that. So discoverable content, viral videos, whatever you want to call it. It's basically how people are going to discover your channel. Next, uh, what we call, uh, I call bingeable videos. Bingeable videos. So your bingeable videos are basically your series, your episodes, the core part of your content, the core aspects, the, the general content that people can subscribe for and they know that it's going to be coming out in the future and basically gives them reasons to, to subscribe. And the reason we call it bingeable is because it needs to be bingeable. I mean, it needs to be um, bingeable. I mean, I just said that. But yeah, so you need to have content that people are going to want to watch one video and then they're going to be so excited or so addicted to it or really like it that they're going to want to watch another one and another one and another one. The way you've set this up is that there is enough content to actually keep watching these bingeable videos. So you've got your first video here and then it leads to another video and then it leads to another video and then people either run out of new videos or run out of 
every, all videos. And so they decide to subscribe because they want to basically, they want to find new content. So they want to be updated and they want to follow you so that when your new content comes out, they want to watch it. A lot of people think that the whole subscribe game, it's a game. It's like just a game of followers. I'll subscribe to me and I'll subscribe to you. It doesn't work like that. People subscribe because they want to watch your content. And that's basically what we're doing. We're creating bingeable content that people are going to want to watch. And then when they figure out that, hey, this stuff's really good, I could watch this for hours on end or whatever it is, then they will subscribe. So after your bingeable content, you need community videos. So community videos are basically the videos that um, will feed your core community, your core fans. These are the people who you really want to encourage because these are the people who can actually make a really, really big difference to your channel. So whether that's commenting, watching every single video, liking every single video, all that kind of thing, or whether it's actually becoming a patron or becoming a channel member or donating money or buying your products, whatever it is, this core audience right here are super, super important. And I'm going to grab red just so, cause we've got a lot of black on it. I said red. There we go. Your core audience are super, super important. Your community videos aren't going to get a lot of views because you know, you, they, they're designed specifically. They're going to be like Q and a videos. They're going to be the videos that your core fans want to watch and people who don't know you aren't going to want to watch these and they're not really bingeable. Like you can't really watch 10 Q and a videos in a row cause it just gets a bit boring. And I'm just using Q and a videos as an example. So that's basically how that works. And then finally we have sales videos. So not every channel has these at the start and you don't really need them at the start. But if you want to become a big channel, I think that sales videos are very, very important because what a lot of smaller creators do is they end up you, turning their bingeable content into sales videos. So they start trying to sell within their core videos, their core sales videos, or even their community videos, which is even worse. But you don't want to do that because like the famous um, entrepreneur and social media marketing and marketing uh, guru, Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk says, you want to keep your sales and your content different. So when you're making something free and you're giving value and you're bringing value to people, keep it free. Um, for example, if you're watching Netflix, your favorite, favorite show, and then th th it's really clear, for example, in one particular episode that they're really pushing, that they've been sponsored by, let's say, a big brand like Coca-Cola or whatever. They've been sponsored by them and they're really trying to push Coca-Cola and they're really, everything they're doing is revolving around this Coca-Cola bottles and there's Coca-Cola bottles everywhere and they've got big shirts with Coca-Cola on and whatever. I mean, that's going to start getting annoying. I mean, you're going to, be a little bit disappointed maybe that the show has become a sales video almost. I mean, you don't want to have infomercials on your channel. Basically you don't want to turn this awesome pillar here into an infomercial. We want to keep this separate. So we want to create sales videos that are separate from your, um, whatever videos, but they are specifically designed to sell stuff. So for example, going back to your favorite TV show, if you see your the characters from your favorite TV show on an advertisement, like an actual designated advertisement, you're not going to be as likely to hate on them or be frustrated because you know that there's a designated advertisement. Companies need to make money and everybody understands that. And that's where, that's why we keep the business and the bingeable, sorry, and the sales videos separate. But that's basically how this works. And you need to have these other three categories of videos. And I'm going to be make, trying to make videos on how to make these these individual categories and how to actually organize your channel in the future. So feel free to subscribe if you want to see that um, because you really need that if you want to actually get subscribers out of your discovery videos. But we're focusing on discovery videos this time. So let's get into the actual tactics on how to make viral or semi-viral videos. So our discovery videos, um, let's actually draw a square this time. Our discovery videos, what we're going to be focusing on or your viral video. So this part of the pillar, um, there are two different ways to make discovery videos, but they both revolve around the same principle. And that principle is like trending and trends because YouTube wants to promote trending topics and people want to watch trending topics. Nobody, I mean, you're not going to make a, have a famous YouTube channel making videos on a game, let's say a call of duty game that came out like seven years ago. 
because it's not trending. You, you might get some viewers. Obviously, I'm not saying there aren't people who want to watch that. There are tons of people who want to watch that. But if you want to grow, I mean, if you want more than like, say, a thousand subscribers, then you're probably going to need to focus on trending topics. So how do we make these discoverable videos? So there are two different ways to do it. The first one I'm going to show you is probably the best way that you're going to want to focus on um, just because it's so simple. Uh, the second way I'm going to show you after this is a bit more complicated, a bit more abstract, but if you figure it out, that's the one that will get you from down here on like a hundred subscribers up all the way up to like 20 K up here in like a month. And people have actually done that. And I know people who have done that. It's pretty simple. So here are two videos. I'm going to show you this concrete example. So this is a channel, um, that we made videos on, uh, top 10 things, Star Wars Battlefront 2 plays hate. And it's basically a channel, um, for Star Wars Battlefront. Um, this is another channel as well, Star Wars Battlefront. And um, this is, was actually a collaboration. And you can see both of these videos, um, I use this tactic in both of them. Um, this, this, how much is this? this? I think this channel's got, we've got, I think we're about 30K at the moment. And we're about 100K here. And you can see 400,000 views, which is like four times the subscriber rate. And um, almost 80,000, which is just under three times. So basically these videos went semi-viral. And the way I did this is you want to, I mean, there are different ways to make viral videos, as I mentioned, but basically this is a viral type of video. So this isn't a random cat video that just goes crazy on the internet. This is a specific type of content. Now, Star Wars Battlefront 2, the game itself didn't exactly go viral, but this type of video was going viral. So I implemented it in Battlefront 2 and it, because it was trending, it took off within that community. The way you do this is whatever your community is, I'm just using Star Wars Battlefront 2 as an example. You go and search up trending videos in other niches. So I've made a video all on niches and sub markets and all that kind of thing. If you want to watch that, I'll link it at the end of this video. But basically we're going to look for trending videos in other niches. And the way I found this one is by typing in top tens because I like making uh, top 10 content. So I'm just going to jump over to, to a channel quickly. Jump over to YouTube. All right. So what I did was I typed in top 10 and I just did this for a bunch of different games. So top 10, I'm just going to say types battlefield one. So it's just going to be an example. And I see all these different types of videos pop up that are related to top 10 types of whatever in battlefield one. And what we're looking for is we're looking excuse me, what we're looking for is we're looking for videos that have low subscriber rates, uh, channels that have low subscriber rates, um, but high video views. Because basically what they're saying to us is either the video itself is really, really good, or this is a trending type of video. This is the type of video that can trend. So I've got a little bit of a um, plug in here, which helps me out uh, with identifying these uh, subscriber rates without actually having to click on the videos, but you can click on the videos and obviously figure it all out. And right off the bat here, I can see that this video here would be a good type, could be a trending type of topic to implement within another game. Because you can see this guy, Digital Dose, has 2,000 subscribers and he's got 85,000 views, almost 90,000 views, um, which basically what it's saying to us is that he's not getting these views because of his subscriber count. I mean, if we see another channel with, say, have a look here, Jack Frags, right? He's got 190K on this video and he's got like 3 million subscribers. So most of his views are probably coming from his subscribers. Whereas we can definitely say with um, Digital Dose over here, my buddy Digital, um, that he is not getting his views from his subscribers. Now, the second thing we need to take into consideration is the video. Is this video a, an amazing video that has just been shared 50,000 times on social media? So what we wanna do is we wanna watch this video and I've actually watched this one quickly beforehand and it's not, there's nothing really outstanding and amazing in it where I go, wow, this editing is incredible. Or, wow, this guy's hilarious. Um, any of that, it's kind of more just a generic video. So I've established that this type of video is a tr trending topic. So I can use this trending um, style, sorry, um, to impl and implement it within my own niche. And basically it has a much higher chance of going viral than if I just posted some other random video. So when I first started off, I found 
um, because we had a little bit of subscribers already, we basically copied this video. So I'll actually show you, and you can see 10 things plays hate in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Uh, this video is things, uh, 10 things Battlefield 1 plays hate. So pretty much a similar title. And that's what you want to do. You want to title your video pretty much similarly, because basically these people have already tested out for us that these, these video styles work. Um, the next thing you want to do is look at the thumbnail. So you don't have to copy the thumbnail exactly. Don't even, don't steal their thumbnail or anything. Have a similar style of thumbnail because these people have already proven to us that this thumbnail style is effective. So I can actually show you on this video, I believe. If I back out, the thumbnail is quite similar. So it's an angry guy with things plays hate and the words right next to it. That's basically how you find viral videos for your niche. So we come in here, we make these kind of videos, everyone thinks they're super, super original, when in reality, we've just pretty much come over here and ripped off Battlefield 1. Now you can do this with a range of different styles, a range of different games, all this kind of stuff, get creative, but the principles are the same. You wanna find a video that preferably has a lower, low subscriber rate, but high view counts, you want to make sure that the video itself isn't something super, super special that just heaps and heaps of people shared. You want to make sure that it really is the video style that made it go big. Then you want to make sure the title of your video and the other video is very similar, as in similar style. If you can, you want to make sure the thumbnail style is similar. I mean, if you're a thumbnail designer and you're insanely good at this stuff, then sure, you can go with it. If you think you can improve that thumbnail, then, thumbnail, then great. I'm not saying that these are perfect, but what I'm saying is these thumbnails have already been tried and tested by uh, these people and you're probably better off doing something similar to them if you want something tried and tested and that's literally it. it's super exciting and you can just pump out viral or discoverable videos like this now like I said you can't just have viral and discoverable videos because people aren't going to want to subscribe for that stuff people want to subscribe for something reliable people want to have certainty that you are going to be producing a certain type of content you need to remember those other three pillars or it's at the start those other two pillows obviously pillars sorry not pillows when you start off sales videos aren't really going to help you very much but focus on those other two pillars and make sure you have a reason for people to sub people to subscribe and then you also have videos that start developing a hardcore community next i want to talk about the more abstract strategy and that is basically the strategy that will hopefully allow you to go like this your channel to go from like a zero to whatever it is 20k i use 20k as an example because that's generally what i've i haven't seen people go like from zero to a million like or zero to a hundred thousand like there are people who have done that but i've never worked with anyone who's gone to more than 30,000 I think in a month which is still like really really good but um yeah so I'm going to use 20k as an example to do this you need to do more than just have a couple of viral videos you need to catch a trend and your whole channel needs to catch that trend now the way you catch a trend is you want to find a niche or something that is booming that you can basically capitalize off and ride that trend into the sunset. Now, I've talked about niches and markets in another video. Like I said, I'm gonna link that in the, at the end. So if you haven't heard about niches or submarkets or markets, make sure you watch that video. It'd be super important. But let's continue talking about catching a trend. So how are you going to find a trend? It's quite simple, and I'm just gonna get rid of this stuff because I keep stuffing up my whiteboard. So let's draw some happy people. He's very happy, as you can see. Um, we want to look for people who are excited about something. So let's think back and think about some previous trends to give you some examples. So you might have seen the video PPAP, the pen pineapple apple pen um, video that went viral. That started trending. People made heaps of memes about it, communities about it. There was crap that went crazy. Um, fidget spinners. Fidget spinners were a massive trend. They went crazy. People started YouTube channels about fidget spinners and just exploded. Um, the KSI and Logan Paul fight. I mean, that was one of the biggest internet events of all time. And obviously there are a lot of people really, really, really excited about that. But there are smaller trends as well that you can identify. So like a, a special update for a certain game that people have been really, really looking forward to. A new game in itself, a game that has people have been looking forward to for a whole year or two or even three years. These micro trends or smaller trends, you can also jump on and capitalize off them. But if you want to go big, you like really, really quickly, the best way to do that is by finding a large trend. So like I said, 
the KSI and Logan Paul, like the fidget spinners, like Fortnite, like Battle Royale, ga- Battle Royale games, like Apex Legends, whatever it is, something that just takes off and will take you, you, with it. Yay, I don't know why I made that drawing. That was pretty pointless. But that's basically how we do it. But I know that that's very, very abstract. So how do we identify a trend and make sure that it actually is a trend once we've kind of identified it? So the first thing we want to make sure is that this trend is at this beginning stage down here because we don't want to be jumping on a trend like here because by that stage, a ton of people have already jumped on this trend and it's starting to get a bit too late. So how do we figure out that it is a worthwhile trend to be following. We go to a cute little website called Google Trends, type Google Trends in, hit this button, uh, this site, sorry. And here we end up inside Google Trends and basically explore what the world is searching. It's pretty simple. And the way it works is it monitors what everybody on Google is searching and provides us with this site where we can basically look at this data for free, which is pretty incredible. So it's not specifically for YouTube, but it just monitors what people are searching on Google, which is pretty much the next best thing. We can actually come in here and monitor some trends. I haven't really found many good ones that I, we can actually capitalize off for video games. Um, so we can see the Avengers Endgame. I mean, you might as, you might be able to make something about the Avengers. Um, Laurie Lightfoot, Barcelona. I mean, there's a bunch of things. Manchester United, Macy Williams. Uh, we can't really capitalize off any of these trends yet. Plus the fact that they're, they're already starting like some of these Avengers Endgame, I mean, 2 million searches, it's already taken off. We can't really capitalize on that yet, but we're going to come up here and whatever our trend is. So let's say we've identified something new. It's the next fidget spinner. It's the, I don't know, the, the, the new Pokemon Go. So we're going to type a new Pokemon Go into the search bar and we're going to hit search and we're going to be taken to this page, which is basically going to show us, and we're going to, um, how this trend has been going. Uh, the way we basically want to do this as well is we want to just click, make sure this is worldwide. And we want to look at this graph. So this graph shows us how these things are coming along basically. So hundred is the ultimate. We want it to hit 100. Hundred is awesome. So for example, Pokemon Go was a massive trend, wasn't it? So let's search Pokemon Go and see if we can go longer 12 months, Let's go past five years, that'll work. And we should be able to see where this starts taking off. Yes, so we can see this perfectly. So look at this. So Pokemon Go, nothing, 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 nothing. We come up to wherever it is. Come up to, geez, and it jumps, I can't really see. But around June 18, 2016, no, June 25, sorry. So if you jumped on this trend about here, where I'm showing, where I've got my cursor now, you can see that if you jumped on, you've been monitoring this and then you check it on Google Trends and you see this vertical line start forming. If you jump on and start making content revolving around Pokemon Go at this stage, your channel will be taken all the way up to 100. I'm pretty sure that's 100. Yeah, it looks like it's hitting 100 and you will do really, really, really well. Now, obviously you're gonna to need to have that other sustainable content um, because as you can see here, this trend just drops off just like all other trends, it fades off and you need to actually be able to capitalize off it so you don't lose and your channel doesn't die with the trend, which is where those other three types of videos come in that I was talking about earlier. But you can see what I mean. So this is the kind of thing you wanna look for. Now, obviously Pokemon Go was an extreme version, like this just went straight up. But you get the idea. This is the kind of thing you want to look for. This is how a trend, this is what a trend, a graph of a trend would look like. And we just want to specify one more time as well. If you're at the 100th mark up here, it's too late. You can't jump on board. There's already too many people. But if you've been researching and you've been looking and just kind of keeping an eye on the community, then, and you notice something and you go, hey, that looks like it could take off. And you search it up and it's kind of at this level and it's heading like straight up. You know, you want to kind of jump on this. Now you might be thinking that's great, but um, I was making Call of Duty videos back in 2016, and I'm not interested in making Pokemon Go videos. That's fine, but you don't have you don't have to make Pokemon Go videos to jump on the trend. What you do have to do is make Pokemon Go related content. So let's say, for example, you make Call of Duty funny moments. 
you should make a Call of Duty Funny Moments Pokemon Go special. And you include Pokemon Go in the thumbnail, you include Pokemon Go um, aspects in the video itself, you include Pokemon Go in the description, and then YouTube's hopefully gonna look at that and go, hey, this video is related to Pokemon Go. And if you're down here at the beginning of the trend, it's going to look to be promoting things that are starting to trend and it's gonna find your video and it's gonna promote you. And this is how all these Fortnite channels went from absolutely nothing to, you know, hundreds of thousands of subscribers in like a week. They capitalized on the trend early and it just took them skywards. And there's many channels who weren't Fortnite channels who also, it all they also jumped on the trend and it took them skywards because they make top 10 videos, for example, and they incorporated Fortnite into one of their top 10 videos. YouTube looked at that and promoted their video and their channel went to the top as well. So I know I'm repeating myself here a bunch of times, but I want to make sure that you guys are 100% clear on what I'm talking about because this is so, so important. Both of these strategies can literally revolutionize your channel. But that's going to be it, guys. I hope this all made sense to you because if it didn't, I really don't know what else I can do. Like I said, I post videos here every Saturday. If you want to grow a gaming channel, these videos are specifically related to everything you need to know to grow a gaming channel. Like I said, I've grown a bunch of gaming channels in the future together with all the channels that I've worked on. We've actually gotten over 300 million views. I'm not telling you these things to impress you. I'm telling you these things because I want you to subscribe. Well, I mean, not, not completely. I mean, that might be partly true, but I want you to subscribe because I really think these videos will help you out. 